All right, hello guys, and welcome to your weekly forecast from October 14th until October 20th. Once again, we're a little bit late, and I do apologize for that, but we're going to go over our precipitation forecast, temperature forecast, special note segment, and then our photo feature of the week at the end of the video. But before I get started with this one, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. Now, how we've been doing it lately is we've been showing the past seven days of temperature anomalies versus what we forecasted to happen, just so you guys can see how accurate it was so right now we're looking at what actually happened so this is what happened last week you can see we, it's really split west to east last week uh, we really had a lot of cold out west, particularly in the northwest, and I wanted to mention my October forecast is doing phenomenally. Uh, we didn't have a good September forecast. The, sep the September forecast was really a bust in my eyes, but the October forecast is validated really, really nicely. We were calling for really below average temperatures up there in the northwest and north central United States with snowfall to occur in a lot of those regions as well, and sure enough, that's been happening quite a bit, but for last week, we did have a lot of warm temperatures east of of the Mississippi River and Great Lakes. So let's see what we were forecasting to happen. Uh, you can see we had those below average temperatures out west, particularly in the north central west, kind of, I'd say north northern Rockies region. And this validated quite nicely, if you ask me. We did call for warmer than normal conditions for the Great Lakes, southeast, and a little bit of California. We did have that out in California, but I would have made the the above average temperatures out east a little bit more widespread now that I've seen what actually happened. But nevertheless, I think that validated quite nicely. But oh, as always, let us know in the comments what you think of how we did based on what you just seen in those two previous frames. Now let's get started with this week's temperature forecast. We're going to be doing it one layer at a time, which seems to be the best style of doing this, just because I'm able to talk about each layer at a time without it being overwhelming. So right now we're starting out with our first above average temperature region here and this is the slightly above average temperature region that extends from New England down through Florida and out into the southwest and south central United States. This is going to be slightly above normal. You might not notice it too much in most areas. There will be areas where it's warmer than others but for the most part this won't be too noticeable. Now let's start out, that's our only above normal temperature layer. We don't have too much as far as above normal temperatures are concerned, but we do have those below average temperatures, mostly for the Northwest and West as a whole, with the exception of the Southwest, and then the North Central United States as well, with the exception of that little bit of Northern Wisconsin, Michigan, and Minnesota. But for the most part, below average temperatures throughout. And again, this is gonna help that October forecast verify quite nicely. Let's get our second shade of blue on here. We do have a moderate below average region here from Washington and Oregon eastward over the northern Rockies and into the north central United States like North Dakota, South Dakota. You guys are probably done with the cold already with that blizzard you guys just had and it's just going to stay cold so through this week so things are looking quite chilly. Anyway that's our temperature forecast. Let's get on to the precipitation forecast where things get a little bit more extreme. We have two main areas of slightly above average precipitation, one for the northwest, one for the, I would say, southeast and, and eastern United States as a whole up through New England. That's going to be mostly due in part to our nor'easter we're going to be talking about. I did make a forecast on that, an early one. I'm probably going to need to update it because it's looking like there could be more snow than I was originally thinking with that. But if you want to check that out, you can. But I'm going to talk about a, a bit about it later in this video. Let's add our second shade of green here. You can see for Washington and Oregon, as well as the southeast and northeastern United States, we do have that moderately above average precipitation region. This is where it's going to be quite noticeable. You're going to be like, okay, we did get a lot of precipitation last week. That's probably what you'll be thinking. We even have a third shade of green here in two different regions. One there for some of them Gulf states, and then one there for the extreme northwestern United States. That's going to be, you know, very, very noticeable. You're going to be like, this was a very wet week. Uh, and our nor'easter is going to start to develop there in those Gulf regions, like, like uh, I would say, kind of the coastal Texas regions in through Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. And then it's going to make its way kind of eastward and hardly affect the mid-Atlantic, but mostly, I, I guess the northern mid-Atlantic, like New Jersey, Delaware, and Maryland will be quite affected, but areas to the west of that won't be quite as much affected as those coastal regions, but New England, for the most part, is going to see the worst effects with winds and everything. 
Now let's get our first below average precipitation region here. We can see California has one and then also for that central United States up through the north central United States and into some of those southern Great Lakes regions as well. All of these regions have a slightly below average precipitation region and it's going to be a little bit more dry than normal. Again, in that first shade, you probably won't notice it too much though. Here's our second shade of brown. We have a little bit of one there for, I would say, central coastal California. So San Francisco, Oakland, areas like that are in this. And it's going to be quite noticeable that it's dry, but California, for the most part, won't be getting too much precipitation anyway. Now let's get into your special note segment of the video. Here's your first special note. You can see we are expecting a nor'easter basically to take up our entire week for the most part. It's again going to start to develop around Texas, Louisiana, move a little bit further east into some of those Gulf states like Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, bringing tons and tons of precipitation and Gulf moisture up into those states. And then eventually it's going to move its way east and north until it's affecting the mid-Atlantic, but not as much as it will be affecting the New England regions of the United States, as well as the coastal northeast like New Jersey, Delaware, and Maryland. These areas are going to be dealing with 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts, maybe more, as well as heavy precipitation, maybe two inches plus in some regions. And then in those purple regions, the reason I put those down is to kind of signal the areas where I think we could potentially be seeing some wintery precipitation at least mix in, but some models, they're kind of scattered around where they think the most winter precipitation is going to be. The European has some of those mountains in southern New York, some of those just north of New Jersey and Pennsylvania getting quite a bit of snow, maybe even uh, above three inches of snow, mostly for the high elevations, though, so don't get too excited if you live around them. Uh, but Adirondacks as well. Uh, we've seen some models show quite a bit of snow, and then the NAM model is showing a lot of snow for New Hampshire and Vermont, and then the GFS wants to show a lot of snow for Maine. So we'll have to see what happens, because they're kind of all over the place, but the one thing that stands true with all of them is they all have at least one area receiving significant wintery precipitation. That's the interesting thing as of right now that really was not being shown two days ago or yesterday when I first made the video for it. So that's quite interesting. Now your second and last special note, this one is for October 20th and beyond, is that's going to be our next snowstorm out west for the Pacific Northwest and the Rockies. Uh, the models are leaning towards having some sort of uh, low pressure system move into the area from the northwest and then move in a southeasterly direction down into the Rockies, potentially bringing our next major snowfall for you guys out there. Uh, and I know you're only going to get a week break. You're probably like, next snowstorm, it's only, you know, just happened. But here we go. We're getting to that time of year where we're just going to see over and over and over again uh, snowstorms for this region. Now let's get into our photo feature segment of the video. If you want to send in photos during this week, whether you have extreme weather or anything, anything goes as long as it's weather related, make sure to click the link in the description or in our pinned comment for our Instagram. And if you tag us in a photo, we will be going through those and picking our three favorites every single week. And then there's going to be a monthly winner as well, where we have the number one photo that was absolutely my favorite. Uh, we had one for September if you watch the October forecast. Now, here's our first one. This is J.A. Simmons 4 from Austin, Minnesota. And uh, he or she, I didn't make sure to check if it's a he or she, but they did mention that they did get quite a bit of snowfall from this snowstorm. And this was when it was just starting to accumulate. It looks like it's quite warm for snow. As you can see, there's really a lot of wet surfaces on the concrete. So it's probably been raining for quite a while. And then snow started to mix in. You can correct me if you're wrong, if I'm wrong. But that looks to be the case, but it is really cool that you started to get a dusting here in October. You live in Minnesota, so obviously you, this is the first of many, many, many snow events. Very, very exciting stuff, though. Now, our second one is from Josh Lives Bearded, or maybe, yeah, I think it's Josh Lives Bearded from Redmond, Washington. I think we shared one of your photos last week as well. This was a beautiful fall foliage photo here. I like how it's really cloudy and I love the reflections down there on the concrete where the water is reflecting the beautiful yellow colors from what looks to be some sort of sugar or red maple there. Uh, and, and it's just absolutely creating a beautiful foliage photo. Thank you for sending that photo in. What a beautiful photo. And our third but not least, uh, Sherry1880 or Cherry1880, I don't know which one it is, from Fort Worth, Texas, sent in multiple photos, but this was the only one that he or she posted. So if you DM it to us, we're not going to post it. We're not going to do anything with that. You have to tag us in it. 
because I can't really get the name at the top of the screen unless you tag us. If you if you send it to me, I can't really get your name, and I want to be able to shout out everybody. So if you post it and tag us, we will be going through those photos and sharing them on the YouTube. Now, this was some sort of really bad thunderstorm that we saw a lot of rain with. It was very visible, and this wasn't even my favorite photo, but unfortunately, this was the only photo that they posted and tagged us in, so this was the one that I chose. But it is a really cool thunderstorm that looked to drop a ton of rain, maybe even some downdrafts in that very, very intense storm there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Again, send us in those photos. I love, love, love to see those, especially if you're in a snowstorm. Those are the coolest ones to me to see. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the the next one share this with your family and friends on social media as always see you guys later